This Tel Aviv spot is the historic site where Israel's independent statehood was declared in 1948. Nowadays, it's a trendy area marked by cafes and businesses. Prominent Israeli intellectuals, political figures and artists gathered here again this week, but this time to call for independence of a different kind, on behalf of Palestinians. We have our state. We believe that they should have the same rights that we have. And the people are shouting and screaming. These are people who are uh, really extreme fascist and very frightened. And they would like to set an atom bomb on the entire Arab world. Israelis opposed to peace deals with Palestinians turned out to voice their opposition to the gathering. They accused the organizers of being traitors and they referred to a two-state solution as a sellout. There were loud, animated arguments and debates. But the organizers held their ground, saying they've collected dozens of signatures in a petition to support an independent state. The timing of the declaration, during the Passover holiday marking Jewish ancestral freedom from slavery, was significant. And some residents of an Arab-populated enclave of Tel Aviv say it's encouraging. But I think that the, the peace between the Palestinian and the Israel is not between the, gov the government from Israel and the Palestinians. It's have to start from the people. Others are skeptical. I think that uh, more, a more widespread uh, support needs to happen instead of just a small group of intellectuals, even though the intellectuals would usually lead these um, groups. As was made clear by the opposition to this gathering, there is a definite split. Most of the people who have signed this petition remember what it was like to be without a state. But as they've discovered here today, and as their government knows full well, they face a very vocal opposition from within. The decisive moment will come in September with the UN vote for Palestinian independence. Stephanie Freed, CCTV in Tel Aviv.